Hello everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to see a problem from partial differential equation. So let's get going. Problem, find the partial differential equation of all spheres whose centers lies on the z-axis. Okay, we are asked to find partial differential equation of all spheres, all spheres whose centers lie on z-axis. Okay, so there is a sphere whose center lies on z axis. So the center in the z axis will be right. Okay, this is the diagram for one sphere. Consider all spheres, just imagine for all spheres whose center lies on the z-axis. So it will be like Okay, you'll have too many, too many spheres. Too many spheres whose center lies on z-axis. Okay, now we know that the general equation to a sphere is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square plus z minus c whole square equal to r square where r is the radius a b c is the center okay now in our case the spheres lies on 0 0 c a coordinate 0 0 c right so the equation becomes x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square plus z minus c whole square equal to r square see here a b c are considered as arbitrary constant uh, constants and r is a given constant radius right fine now this gives us x square plus y square plus z minus c whole square equal to r square. Okay, now we need to form partial differential equation from this equation. Okay, this represents all spheres whose center lies on z axis. General equation, say you can consider it as general equation of all the spheres whose center lies on the z axis. Okay, fine. Now coming to the problem. We know that the general solution, sorry, the general equation to SPR is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square plus z minus c whole square equal to r square, right? Where coordinate or point a, b, c is the center and r is a radius, fine? Now, since We are asked to find partial equation from all the spheres whose center lies on z axis. R spheres whose center lies on z axis right therefore 0 0 c is a required center say all centers are one center okay all spheres whose centers lies on z axis fine now this equation becomes 
you have to consider it as equation 1 then 1 becomes x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square plus z minus c whole square equal to r square which gives us x square plus y square plus z minus c whole square equal to r square consider as equation number 2. Now we need to form partial differential equation from this equation. Okay, this general equation of all spheres whose center lie on z axis. Okay, general equation of all spheres. We can't write every equation of sphere. Right? So we'll write in general. Fine. Now coming to the problem. Partially differentiating equation 2 with respect to x. So I will apply dou by dou x on both sides of 2. You can skip this step. This gives us, since we are partially differentiating with respect to x, so y will be treated as constant. This gives us dou by dou x of first term plus dou by dou x of second term plus dou by dou x of third term equal to partial derivative of constant with respect to x is 0. This gives us partial derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x plus partial derivative of constant with respect to x is 0, plus partial derivative of z minus c whole square is 2 times z minus c into inner derivative, that is dou by dou x of z minus c equal to 0, right? This gives us 2x plus 2 times z minus c into partial derivative of z with respect to x minus partial derivative of c with respect to x equal to 0. This gives us 2x plus 2 times z minus c into since we have a notation dou z by dou x equal to p. So we will get p minus partial derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0 equal to 0. Right? This gives us 2x plus 2p into z minus c equal to 0. Now we can write this equation as right. We will just take this term to RHS. Now take this to, to RHS you will get Right? We will take this p to RHS, then you will get z minus c equal to minus x by p. Consider it as some equation number 3. Now let's partially differentiate 2 with respect to y. Partially differentiating 2 with respect to y. Apply dou by dou y on both sides of equation number 2. Since we are partially differentiating with respect to y, so we will treat x as constant here. You can write this as dou by dou y of first term plus dou by dou y of second term plus dou by dou y of third term equal to partial derivative of a constant with respect to y is 0, right? Partial derivative of a constant with respect to 0 is y, sorry, 0, plus partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y, plus partial derivative of z minus c whole square with respect to y is 2 times z minus c into inner derivative, z minus c equal to 0, right? This gives us 2y 
plus 2 times z minus c into partial derivative of z with respect to y minus partial derivative of constant with respect to y equal to 0. This gives us 2y plus 2 times z minus c into since we have a notation dou z by dou y equal to q let's replace dou z by dou y by q you'll get q minus dou partial derivative of constant with respect to y is 0 equal to 0 which gives us 2y plus 2q minus 0 is q 2q into z minus c equal to 0. Now we can write this equation as we will take this to RHS I mean the first term to RHS you will get 2q into z minus c equal to minus 2y you can cancel 2 here itself then you will get z minus c equal to take this q to RHS you will get minus y by q consider it as equation number 4. So what we will do is we will just observe these two since z minus c equal to minus y by q and z minus c equal to minus x by p so from 3 and 4 we can just equate minus x by p equal to minus y by 4 we can write like that right now from 3 and 4 we'll get minus x by p equal to minus y by q now just make a cross multiplication you'll get minus x q equal to minus y p or you can write this as minus y p equal to minus x q or just y p equal to x q okay and you can also write this as x q minus y p equal to 0 or y p minus x q equal to 0 or you can write the same equation as x q equal to y p or q x equal to p y which is a required partial differential equation. Well, we have seen a problem from partial differential equations in this video. I hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.